Okay, so today we're going to take a up close and personal look at the external screen of the Moto Razr 5G, which is of course the coolest part of this phone. So let's take a look. Turned into quite the mess. Spray, soar, and speed across the beautiful Isle Delfino. Super Mario Sunshine on Nintendo Switch. One of three games in Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Rated everyone. So there are a lot of really cool things that you can do uh, with the external screen. There's just a lot to like about it. Um, the display looks beautiful, uh, and there's just so much you can do, and that's really one of the things that I, I love about this phone. Um, everything from uh, notifications uh, to all of the available apps or the on-screen apps you can use. You can see I've got a number of them set up here, and you can obviously add whatever app you want to use. Um, so it shows you everything that's installed. I don't have a lot really installed on this right now, but I'm just, just testing it out. But, um, you know, I'll go ahead and add, um, you know, a few things to the screen, and then that activates them, and then you can actually go in and take a look at um, what the app is like on the external screen. So this is Instagram. You can see it's a pretty seamless experience. It works great. It's very enjoyable. You can, yeah, you can like things from here. You can post from here. There's a lot of really cool things that you can do, and you can't do this on Samsung's Flip. Um, everything is easy to read. Text is easy to read. Uh, video plays very, very nicely on it. Um, I just really um, enjoy the overall experience. Um, just about, like I mentioned, every app pretty much um, works um, from the external screen. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, same thing. Uh, text, very easy to read. Um, you can enjoy uh, media on here as well. Um, so if people post videos, you, of course, can watch the video. There's a really good one right there. So overall, very, very Im impressed with it. So um, um, in the, the news apps, I think I showed this in my last video, everything just seems to uh, work really nicely on it. And it, um, it gives you a nice um, experience. Uh, like I said, I mean, you're just, you know, you're just checking, checking things out. So, yeah, you can also, here's a shot of... Um, how video looks in full screen, so this is pretty cool. Very, very cool. Loudspeaker, it's uh, nice and loud. Video looks great on here. So yeah, GPS was pretty cool. Um, and obviously you get all your notification cards here. You just kind of scroll through those. And of course those are also interactive just like they would be, um, when the phone is open, you can expand it like this. And if you want to dive into the content, so that is pretty cool. And you can see that everything's very, very smooth and very, very quick on it. So definitely love that. So let's check out here YouTube, um, show you what that's like. Uh, again, experience is just like it, just like it normally is, of course, when the phone's open. But my point that I keep trying to make here is that this is a very, very usable external screen, which you're about to see uh, on YouTube. Also, I have to say the on-screen keyboard, um, it is pretty easy to use. 
get used to it over time. The autocorrect, great. See him firing off a text message here. Very easy to use, very convenient, which I think is key to this external screen. Big, big improvement. So yeah, there's, there's just an awful lot to like about this external screen. A lot you can do with it. I'm sure they're gonna to continue to add uh, to its functionality. There just really is a lot to do. I'm just kind of zooming in and out here to try to get a, a best shot for you, but I love it. Everything, like I've mentioned, is very fluid. There are a lot of things, practically, you can do practically everything with this external screen without having to dive deep in your phone, which I think is a really, really big key when this phone uh, goes up against uh, Samsung's phones or, or future flip phones. So hopefully uh, Moto can continue to expand on this. I also wanted to point out here you can add some shortcuts. So you can add a, um, a, text, a text shortcut. So here I'm just adding um, that's actually, um, that would be a shortcut to call, um, Adriana there. And then you can also add a, uh, shortcut for text, which will get you right into, um, the text. So I'm going to add, I think, uh, Alex here. Um, and then once it's added, um, you can just simply tap the icon and go straight into the text message and send the message if you want. Pretty cool. So yeah, uh, well, you know what? I decided to open up the phone here. You can hear this woman, she's not too happy with uh, the outcome of that game. But uh, I really love this phone and I hope you do too. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Um, and that's our look at the external screen of the Moto Razr G 5G. Hope you enjoyed this video. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Please like this video. Please share this video. I'm really trying to grow this channel and starting off with this Moto Razr. I love the phone again, and I'll say it again. If you have any questions, put them below. I'll do my best to get back to you. But uh, this is a great phone, folks, and I hope that uh, you give it a chance. Um, once again, Florida Reporter. Hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at the Moto Razr 5G external display. All right, guys, take it easy.